or you just getting started on YouTube and you would like to customize your YouTube channel art, then I'm gonna show you guys how to do exactly that. Customizing your YouTube cover photo will make you establish your brand or help you establish your brand on YouTube and also help you uh, further establish your brand across other social media platforms. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Mike Rawls with My Kids Media, where we help you make better multimedia products. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click that subscribe button and also like this video. Everything that we'll be discussing will be linked in the description down below. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we begin, you will need Photoshop to create your YouTube artwork. I'm currently using a Creative Cloud membership I purchased as part of a Black Friday special. Go to adobe.com forward slash creative cloud to sign up. Adobe offers free trials for 30 days. There are different pricing options for different collections of their programs, or you could try Photoshop as just a standalone option. Download and install Photoshop and then go back to YouTube. There are a few ways you can create channel art for your YouTube channel. For this video, I will just focus on just a cover art photo. Go to YouTube and click the help button in the pop-up window type create or edit channel art click the search button or press enter to search in the results select the create or edit channel art option scroll down to channel art template and click to expand it after you click the channel art templates option a pop-up window appears prompting you to save the zip file save it to any location that you want once you open a YouTube channel template file, you'll notice a couple of things. So over here to the right hand side, you'll see that this layer spec hide this layer. So if we toggle this layer on and off, we'll see that our dimensions and our information for uh, the dimensions of the YouTube template uh, will now be hidden and you'll have this blank slate. So you can leave this on. And one thing I want to bring your attention to first is the desktop minimum in mobile. So this is the dimensions of uh, the minimum size that can be seen on a desktop. So you want the majority of your image and your message to uh, be right here and fit within uh, this box right here, which is about 1546 by 423 pixels. If you go a little bit further out, here is your uh, tablet uh, size. So this side will cover, or this size will cover um, most tablet size when you see your YouTube channel art on a tablet. And this is the desktop max. And this is finally the TV max dimensions, which is the whole file. So this is for if you wanna look at your YouTube channel art on a device, a TV enabled device, like an Apple TV, Roku, uh, Google Chrome, cast or uh or whatnot so so with that said we're going to start to uh, create our youtube channel art i have already created some youtube channel art and i'm not going to go over on how to exactly create your uh artwork this is just so you can see the template and see what to do so um, i won't get too in depth with that so um, i'm going to do a few things here and show you real quick uh, some of the things you can do. So, uh, for example, let's take our type tool and we're going to type. In, well, first, we're going to hide this. Let's go ahead and no, not hide that. Let's just put our text on top of this. Right. I like having the guides here so I can see exactly where everything will fit. And I'm going to make a title called Micah's Media. And I'm going to do this real quick and maybe bring this in a little bit more. And again, I'm just going to show you guys how to make all this fit within this margin here. This is not a tutorial on how to use Photoshop. That could be a totally another complete another video or complete video. So uh, I'm going to expand that and I'm going to bring the text size down. And no matter what program you will use, uh, you could use this as a guide.
And so I have my text there. And I try to put the majority of my title within this box so that I know that everything uh, will show up. So I'll put my title there and if I wanted to, I could put some uh, other text here like, uh, let's see, just like some other uh, verbiage here like uh, learn, maybe learn more or something like that. And I'll make all this same size. All right, so I'm going through this and I'm just changing things up a little bit and just kind of make this like, like how I envision this in my head. And I'm gonna change this, learn, edit, export. export then if I wanted to I could group all this I like to do a lot of grouping to keep everything together and consistent and maybe I will rotate some of this learn edit export my Media. learn edit export and if I wanted to I could add some other photos so uh, this is just a general idea on what you can do. And I'm going to create another layer here and and I'm going to change the background color. OK, then I'm going to uh, fill it. OK, now I have that filled. And I'm going to bring this layer right. Didn't mean to do that. I'm going to bring this uh, hide spec layer on top so I can see what my margins are. So this is just a general idea on what you can uh, actually do. And so you can continue to edit this on your own. And I'm just doing a few more things here to kind of make this stand out. And I'm going to add one more effect to this. And this may not be the final concept that I will have. And I'm going to add a drop shadow. There you go. So that's what I'm going with. So if I wanted to put this on YouTube, it would look something like this. And of course, this is just something simple. Um, I can go a little bit more complex and add pictures to the background. So I'm going to pause the video and come back with what my final draft is going to be. All right, I am back. And as you can see, I got rid of what I was working on before. And I'm about to show you guys exactly what I decided to go with. So uh, without further hesitation, this is what I decided on. OK, so what I did is I took a whole bunch of photos from my personal page and just a whole bunch of stuff. And I threw together a collage of some stuff, um, which is basically me and my kids, some photos from work and a little bit of a uh, little bit of everything. So I combined these together to come up with this image. I'm probably going to change it later on, but I just wanted to put up something that pretty much defined uh, who I am. And what is most some things that are most important to me. So uh, I'm just going to take a few minutes, just give you guys a few tidbits about me. So these are my kids, Jordan and Angela. Uh, of course, that's me. That's me there, me there, me there. And that's uh, me and my daughter, uh, Angela. That's us. So um, it's a little bit uh, big of a, a big departure from what you would normally see with someone that does YouTube videos and uh, in this kind of field, they would normally put videos about, you know, I'll put uh, imagery about uh, editing and all this stuff. So 
I decided to go this route for uh, right now. I probably will change it later on. As you can see here, uh, when I click on this and I bring the specs in here, so uh, you'll see what will be seen on YouTube when you look at this on um, on a computer. If you look at this on a computer, this is what you're gonna see. Everything that is in this box right here. Um, yeah, and again, I am pretty satisfied uh, with this, for right now at least. And later on, I may change it, but um, this is just something so my page isn't blank that is customized and people see who I am. So I chose to go with this picture because I think this is the best picture of me that I can find. And of course, this could be tweaked a little bit and there's definitely room for improvement. But um, I just came up with this real quick. And again, I did not want a bare default YouTube banner page because I think if someone were to go to my page, having something sometimes is better than uh, nothing. If they would see the default channel art, uh, they may think that, oh, this guy is not a real uh, person or this is somebody that doesn't know what he's talking about. It goes all about, um, it goes oh, goes toward uh, providing value uh, to your audience and to your viewership. And so uh, this is what I came up with. Um, no matter what program you're using, whether uh, use this uh, template, I'm using Photoshop, of course. Um, in the description of this YouTube uh, page of this YouTube video, I will put the JPEG. So if you have a different program that you're using, you can uh, put that in the program. You can uh, use this as a general idea of uh, in general guidelines of what to or where to place everything. So. Again, this is what I have come up with. So I already have this uh, saved out and everything. So the only thing you need to do is upload it to your YouTube channel. Once you're on YouTube, uh, go ahead and go to the right side up here in the right corner. Click on your icon here and go to your channel. Once you're at your channel, uh, there will be some kind of default uh, image. I went ahead and posted this back up so you guys can see what it will look like. But what you may see is a channel or a button in the middle of this uh, photo that shows you guys uh, click here or that says uh, edit channel art. So what I'm going to do is click this photo icon if you already have an image already uploaded. And I'm going to select a photo from my computer. And I'm going to uh, select the photo that was saved out from before as soon as I can uh, find it. YouTube channel art, YouTube channel art. And once I upload this, and I believe this is it. Nope, that is not it. This is it right here. And once I upload that, we should be done. Now, as you can see, this is what it will look like on the different platforms. As you can see here in the TV, it shows the full image. Uh, on the desktop, it shows uh, the max desktop resolution, depending on maybe your monitor. And on mobile, this is what it looks like. As you can see on mobile, um, that will de uh, depend on how probably how wide your screen is on your uh, phone. But I can also adjust the crop if I wanted to, but I don't need to do that. Um, I'm pretty much satisfied with this for right now. And I'm going to select uh, select. It will update and save. Now I've just created a custom YouTube uh, image. I could work on the resolution and fix a few things if I wanted to, but uh, this is just for right now. And uh, again, later on, I could change it. I could put more uh, text here or put some different options here. Uh, later on in another video, I'll show you guys how to um, put up the link to where 
uh, you can have your website appear here and maybe have an arrow pointing to it. Hey, check out a website or check us out on social media. Um, but for now, this is what I have for this particular YouTube channel. It is that simple to edit your YouTube cover art photo. So we just did that in a few quick, easy steps. If you like this video and you want to see more videos about tips and tricks on how you can edit your YouTube videos, then make sure you check out the video that's linked on this page. Don't forget to like our uh, or like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video.